Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. A Wesley Chapel mother is looking for justice after her 15-year-old daughter took her own life. She blames bullying after a nude video of her daughter was posted to Snapchat just hours before her death. Candace McCowan now joins us live from Wiregrass Ranch High School. That's in Wesley Chapel. And boy, students there ended the year on what a sad note. Indeed, Stacy Tavana Holton should have been finishing the last day of her freshman year here at Wiregrass Ranch High School today, but instead, her parents are planning her funeral, and the Pasco County Sheriff's Office is investigating what happened. There's really no words to describe this mother's pain. LaVon Holton Teamer finding her 15-year-old dead. Then I go to the bathroom. I couldn't get in the bathroom. The bathroom light was off. So I tried to get out there, and I looked down. I seen a puddle of blood. LaVon telling me they had to break the door down to get to Devana, who had taken her mother's gun from her purse. Oh, I tried to apply the pressure, apply pressure to her head. I tried to save her. Hours earlier, Tavana had expressed to her mother that something was wrong. Tavana mentioning her friends had a photo. I wanted to say, Mommy, Mommy, I owe them. I owe them. I say, what you mean you owe them? After Tavana's suicide, the teen's family took to Facebook in search of answers, only to find out the picture was really a video thought to be shot by a good friend that's been shared with dozens. She videotaped her while she was taking a shower. Everybody was up there talking about her and calling her names and everything. And they said it went up on um, social media was snapped, whatever Snapchat, I had never heard of it before. Um, about three something that afternoon. Three hours later, Tavana was dead. Tavana's story is viral, shared on social media thousands of times with the hashtag stop bullying. This family is now seeking justice. I want to actually let them pay exactly, you know, feel what we're feeling that we've lost, even if their child is convicted or in trouble, they can go visit their child. Well, we reached out to, pa to the Pasco County School District today. They told me that they handed the investigation over to the Sheriff's Department, and we reached out to them as well. They say they are aware of the video. They are investigating, but so far, no arrest. Stacy, Boy, and just torture to watch that mother's pain. Do you know if she reported that bullying to school before this? Yeah, she tells me she did come up to the school many times to report this bullying. She was even considering taking her daughter out of this school next year, but she says she wasn't always satisfied with the responses she got here. I did reach out to the school district and to the sheriff's office. Neither one of them wanted to speak on camera today. All Stacey. right, Candace McCowan, live in Pasco County. So sad. Thank you.